I'm Ariana with Fresh Pair of Eyes. How are you guys? Hi, hi, good. good. How about you? Yeah. Awesome. Good. So, Caitlin is into a very unique hobby of pigeon racing. Do you guys have any unique hobbies that, like, your peers aren't typically into, but you're really into it? Mm. Ooh. I think I'm a big skier. I really oh. like skiing. Um, and not a lot of my friends, they actually kind of make fun of me because skiers oh. aren't looked as as the cool guys, you know? But I really like skiing. I enjoy it. They're all snowboarders and everything, but yeah, skiing. I, ooh, ooh, this is a hard one. I love, I love collecting anime, manga, mm. and comics. And I also get made fun of that because they call me the cringy anime kid. And that's why we're siblings. And that's why we're siblings. We we both have, they're like, ew, you're into anime. And I'm like, no, but I love it. So, I yeah, you. I'm into comic books and manga. He's into skiing. skiing. Hey, I'd watch you ski and I'd cheer you on the whole way. That's why I love you. Yeah. How did you guys build the sibling bond? Because in the movie, you guys have like a silent loyalty to each other. Yeah, yeah. But... It, it feels like in real life you guys have like a strong vocal bond as well. Yeah. No, definitely. You want to tell? We clicked, yeah, honestly, just, just right away. It was so weird because I don't know if I've ever done that. Like very few people I've ever done that with. Sometimes I usually have to like sit and have a conversation with them. But it's like right off the bat that we just clicked. And... um I met him and his mom, and his mom was so fashionable. <laughs> his mom, Cherie, is so fashionable. And I was like, ooh, his mom is so fashionable. And I was like, oh, this this dude looks like a good big brother. And then he sat down, and we just started talking. We had, like, sandwiches and hot chocolate, mm -hmm. and it was a night shoot. So night shoots are always cozy. Mm -hmm. That's The rest is history. The rest is history. Lifelong. <laughs> So, Brooklyn, your character, Caitlin, really connects to the band Bikini Kill. For both of you, what's an artist that really gets you motivated and you feel like understands you? Hmm. Ooh. Hmm. Ooh, that's hard. Mine is Linkin Park. I love Linkin Park. Like, all their songs, like, I'll just be, ha I'll be happy. And I'll be like, oh, yeah, I've become so numb. <laughs> like, like, and then my mom's like, yeah, that's my kid. <laughs> um, but yeah, I would say Linkin Park or I really like Blackpink. Hmm. Oh, two very different choices. I know, I know. <laughs> Go ahead, Tom. I like, um, my music taste is really diverse. I like, uh, yeah, two, Frank Sinatra or Daniel Caesar. I like chill vibes and I, yeah, no, that I really like Frank relaxes Sinatra. me and it, it gets me in a really nice vibe, so yeah. Not just like Ooh. a soothing it, it is, really, it is. Mm -hmm. so. Yes. Mm -hmm. What was it like to work with those pigeons? Did you have a fear of birds before? Do you really like birds now? <laughs> I I was deadly terrified of birds before, you before were? this. Yes. One time for a commercial, when I was really, really little, they wanted me to go into like this bird cove and like feed the birds while like I, like while they the videotaped me while I was like in doing a commercial mm. and I cried and I wouldn't do it. So I was like, okay, I'm older now. I'm older now, like I can I can do this. And I walked in the room and I saw like a bunch of like pigeons in the room and I was like, no. And so I just walked out and my Mimi really talked me through and was like, you're brave, you can do this. And I went back in and then Lauren and Roland, um, the amazing pigeon handlers, literally was like, this is a really calm pigeon. He's really cuddly, just hold him. So I held him. I fell in love, and ever since then, I've been totally in love with pigeons. Yeah. So I'm really glad that I was able to face my fear on that, but it, I did have to come quite a long way for that one. Mm. Yeah. Simon, were you cool with birds? Yeah, I never really uh, put cool any thought. In, I never really <laughs> thought about birds too much, right? But then the first scene I had, there were birds on the table in front of me, and. I loved it. It was so cool because every scene had its own like authenticity because it, it, the birds were unpredictable. And it was really <laughs> nice to play with them like that. So the yeah. birds were trying to eat the set food. <laughs> <laughs> it's so awesome. So yeah. <laughs> well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Congrats on this project, and I can't wait to talk about future ones. Thank you. Yes, thank you for taking the time. Yeah, to thank you for talking talk to us. us. Yeah. Oh, thanks. You have it was a good awesome. One. You do. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> We did good on that one.
All right, let's cut. And then